What is going on everybody? Welcome to Stylish Grease Monkey. My name is Chris. Today I'm going to talk about or answer the question, does a spoon work in cleaning the creep sole of a red wing mock toe? Here we go. So you know I've been in the heritage boots business for a little while, well not business, but I own a lot, spend my, my, a lot of money on um, mock toe boots, the one with the leather top and creep sole, white creep sole, such as this one right here. I think it is the ultimate heritage uh, boots for heritage clothing and work clothing. This is the Red Wing A75. I purchased this recently from eBay, used. It was quite dirty, it was used for work, which was the intention of the pair of boots. I didn't like the way it was really dirty and I figured that I should clean it. Not as white as I want it to be, but I think the more I do it and when it dries, it's gonna look white. I'll just keep looking. In the past, what did I use? I used many other methods. I used Dawn to clean the grease. I used the greenie weenies. I even used that white sponge called the eraser or magic eraser to clean the creep side or creep sole of the mock toes. But yes, yeah, some of that worked, like the greenie weenies work with some elbow grease. But what I found lately, what I found out and I wanted to try is this spoon method, right? And Along with the spoon method, I went ahead and used my saddle soap, which also previously I've, wore, I've used to clean some of my mock toes and some of my boots and worked really well to remove the grease and dirt from uh, safely from the pair of uh, boots. So how does it work? Well, first, what I did was I went ahead and just cleaned it in general, cleaned the whole boots using a, um, a bristle or a brush. Uh, made a lot of bubbles, you know, wiped it down really quickly because you don't want water to be sitting on the pair of boots. So you wipe it down as you clean it so that it's nice and clean. I went back afterwards, I went back to focus on the dirt and removal of the dirt from the creep sole by, again, using the spoon and the saddle soap. And what I did was really kind of focus in small areas, put a lot of pressure uh, in the areas by scrubbing it using the edge of the edge of the spoon. Spoon works well because you can use it really nicely and use it like a weapon. <laughs> you're stabbing it, you're getting into the really you know nitty gritty areas where the dirt lies in between. So how does it work? Here's my conclusion, right? It's probably like you know when you squeeze pimple using some kind of a tool from your face and how pimples pop out. That's exactly what happens in a micro, um, micro way, right? So you use this, you dig it in, you put a little bit of pressure, air, a small air at a time, and then wipe it off, pressure, wipe it off, and what happens is that uh, eventually it becomes clean, or much cleaner, right, than the previous um, st uh, state that it was. I am very satisfied with this. I can tell you, do I recommend the spoon and saddle soap to clean your creep sole or your wedge sole on your mock toes? Yes, I do. Now, for those of you that have other techniques, please leave a comment on the comment section below to let us know what other techniques you've used to clean the white part of the creep uh, to get it clean as fast as you can get there or as slow as you can get there. It doesn't matter what is the procedure that you use to clean it. That's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed that real quick tip video on how to uh, clean the creep sole on a, on a pair of um, Red Wing Makto Heritage, such as the 875s that I have here. Until next time, aloha.